Also tonight, breaking news of the deadly school shooting in Georgia. It turns out the FBI was aware last year of the 14-year-old accused gunman. Tonight, we're learning more about the weapon that was used. And we're also learning more about the four victims, two of them students, two of them teachers. I would news reporter Safan Kim in the newsroom following the breaking details. Safan? Well, Shade, law enforcement officials tonight say the suspect used an AR-style weapon and that the carnage could have been worse if not for protocols that were enacted a week ago. All teachers have a device that can be activated to alert first responders of an active shooter. They're telling us to run. It is the grim reality students in America are facing today. An active shooter inside a school. This cell phone video showing the chaotic moment students scramble for safety after a gunman opened fire at Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia. I was scared. I had so much fear. Like, I'm still shaking. I might not get to see my family again. I mean, my brother again. I was scared that he might not make it out. Parents showed up in panic. First responders raced to the scene. Students huddled together and prayed on the football field. One student says as they hid in the back of the room with the door locked, someone pounded on the door saying, open up. Then more gunshots and screams. I said, son, please tell me you're joking. He said, no, mom, I'm not joking. He said, they're shooting in, they shooting in the school, and, and the shooter is right across the hall from me. This hits home for us. Uh, being from Athens, just down the road, Marty and I having a daughter that taught first grade just a few years ago. Uh, this is everybody's worst nightmare. Killed in the madness, two 14-year-old students, Mason Shermerhorn and Christian Angelo, and two teachers, Richard Aspinwall and Christina Uraimi. Nine others also shot and wounded, eight students and one teacher. The massacre started after 10 this morning. Two school resource officers assigned to the school immediately encountered the shooter. Law enforcement arrived on scene within minutes. The shooter, 14-year-old Colt Gray, a student at the school, immediately surrendered. The FBI says in May of 2023, it received an anonymous tip about the shooter. Online threats with photos of guns. His father told authorities they were for hunting and that his son didn't have access to them. The suspect denied making online threats. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office identified and located Gray, who is our suspect in this case. They conducted an investigation at that time and there was no probable cause for arrest or to take any additional law enforcement action. I never imagined I never imagined that I would be speaking to the media in my career over something that happened today, the pure evil that happened today. Now, how the suspect obtained the firearm and how he got it into the school is still under investigation. A motive has not yet been determined. The suspect will be charged with murder and he will be charged as an adult. He is being interviewed and the sheriff says he is talking to them. All of the nine victims are going to recover. In the newsroom, Stefan Kim, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Back All to you. Right. Thank you, Stefan. Meanwhile, today's school shooting comes as the campaign picks up for the presidential race. Both candidates reacting to the shooting today. Kamala Harris speaking earlier in New Hampshire. And it's just outrageous that every day in our country, in the United States of America, that parents have to send their children to school worried about whether or not their child will come home alive. It's senseless. It, it is. We've got to stop it. Meanwhile, Donald Trump releasing a statement saying, in part, we're quoting now, our hearts are with the victims. These cherished children were taken from us far too soon by a sick and deranged monster.